do we get to this point now that it's his? Uh, well, you know, number one, uh, he showed he had the financing a few days ago. Yeah. He started to woo large shareholders, large investors, and that's why over the weekend, Twitter's board had to sit down with him, strike a deal overnight that finally was announced a few minutes ago. Uh, so how do we get to this point? Well, here is someone who was able to prove he could actually do this, prove he could bring the company private, and uh, now, barring any hiccups, it is his. He does say in a statement here, free speech is the bedrock of a functioning democracy, and Twitter is the digital town square where matters vital to the future of humanity are debated. So in his mind, this is very serious and has been all along. He says he wants to make Twitter better than ever by, quote, enhancing the product with new features, making the algorithms open, open source to increase trust, defeating the spam bots, he says, and authenticating all humans. So he is approaching this in the same way he approaches Tesla and SpaceX. He's on a mission. He wants to save the digital planet, and in his mind, Twitter is critical to that. Except that we're all more affected by this than we are SpaceX and Tesla. Hmm. This affects all of us in terms of misinformation. How, how will this change our lives? And when he says open it up to free speech, does that allow more misinformation on the platform? I'm gonna cry. That's a, an example of a broader question for Twitter, which is, if you, uh, if you get invited to something where there are no rules, where there is total freedom uh, for, for everybody, do you actually want to go to that party? Or are you going to decide to stay home? Simone, let's, let's party, homes. Yeah. All right, lay on. Come on, fool. Bow to your sensei. Bow to your sensei. Okay. Well, I'm sick and tired of smart guys.